Hello, I'm Christina Mayer, and today I'm going to be showing Kimmy how to uh, do the basics of the oboe. Just get a good sound. Okay, so we're going to start off with the reed. Looks like this. And it's essentially just two pieces of cane tied together, and it creates the sound that you hear when an oboe plays. So how this works is we are we have to soak it in water first in order to get the pieces to vibrate to create the lovely sound that you are going to accomplish. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> so after that, uh, typically that takes like a couple minutes, but I threw these in here earlier, so we're going to be good to go. Cool. So first I think we're going to start off just on the reed. So here's yours. <laughs> and we're going to start, um, and you're going to try to think of the embouchure you want, which is, it's just how your mouth is shaped when you play. Okay. Um, so you're going to think of like, say O oh for me, oh. 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 and the, that shape that your mouth makes with your corners tight in and your, the middle of your mouth open, mm -hmm. that's the exact shape that you want when you're playing the elbow. So I guess just try playing on, placing on the reed, you kind of set it on your lower lip and then roll it in and make that and then just blow as hard as you can. You can do it. Ta -da! That's perfect. Uh, that is called the crow. The crow. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So now we are going to apply that to the musical instrument. Oh well. <laughs> okay, first we're going to start with your uh, how you should stand when you play. So you want to have your feet shoulder width apart okay. and just have like a good sturdy stance and stand where you feel balanced, okay? Okay. And then we're going to take this and uh, hold out your right hand. Okay, let me take your whole reed <laughs> for you. And uh, you're going to put your thumb under this thumb rest, okay, and then place your fingers there. And up top, this other thumb is going to sit right underneath the octave key on the wood. Perfect. And then those three fingers right there. Okay. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> so, another kind of important part is we have to put the reed actually into the instrument. And you're going to have it so you want the blades, the flat part, facing you and like lined up with the instrument. And okay. you just, you literally just stick it in this hole and shove it all the way down there. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Yeah, so pretty easy so far. You're doing great. This is and easy. now you are going to <laughs> take everything we just did and apply it to actually playing. And we're just going to start on a really easy note. It's just the very top finger. And that is a B. Okay. And then just play. Mm. Perfect. Whoops. And a little bit how you jumped the octave there, yeah. that might have been, uh, you were just tightening up a little bit too much. Oh, okay. So remember to really think of being open and saying, oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And now we're just going to okay. go down um, three notes in a scale, and we're just going to go down to A, which is one, and then two. And that's it. Okay, so... Since that note isn't really coming out, we're going to again think of being more open, and we're going to start on the note we could play, which was a B, and just go straight down like this. Back to back. It's okay. Just try it again. Okay. It's very hard. Well, I think your fingers might not be covering the holes all the There's way. holes. Yes, there are. And that is really important because <laughs> the note is not going to speak if you're not covering mm. the holes. And you might need to move this thumb. You might have to put it over here so your fingers are in a better placement to cover those holes. Oh. See, this finger is going to be a little flat. Flat? Yeah. Oh, Like, you need I to see. keep your fingers up on their tips a little more. Another thing that might help mm. is your reed might be drying out a little bit. Yeah, it does feel dry. Right, and that will actually affect how it sounds. So if that happens, it's just a really easy fix. You literally just like put it in the water again mm -hmm. for a couple of seconds, and we're going to take it out, and I have a feeling that if you're covering all the holes and blowing, and now this reed is going to be a little more soaked, I think it will just come out. It'll work better. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That should be fixed. It 
is my thumb placement. Yeah. Where's the key? There right it there. is. Okay, yes. so obviously you're just going to refine that, but honestly, after you just get it to come out and you mm -hmm. see how that feels, you're better able to duplicate it under other circumstances mm -hmm. and with practice. I promise those notes will come out wonderfully. All right, thank you so much, Kim. Thank you, Christina. <laughs>